This week's episode of The Brilliant Baking Show is sponsored by Restoration Cake, whose latest book, Deliciously Decorated, is available now. Welcome to Brilliant Baking, the show that takes the mystery out of baking and delivers hints and tips straight to your screen. We've got a busy one this week. We've got a book review, photos of what you've been baking, your questions, and we're going to dig you out of a baking hole. the show and this week we've been sent this gorgeous book written by Charlotte White from Restoration Cake. She's got some really lovely recipes in there but what we particularly like about it is she's taken inspiration from some classic Hollywood films and film stars like Marilyn Monroe, Breakfast at Tiffany's and Judy Garland's Ruby Slippers. Yeah it's a really unique idea and so if you're looking for some inspiration then we really recommend Charlotte's book and we'll put a link below in the notes so that you can find it. Since we launched the Brilliant Baking Show, you've been sending us some of your photos, either bakes that you've made yourself or some of the ones we've made on the show. So here's some of our favourites. And first up is Raquel Spinelli. Thank you, Raquel, for sending us a few photos of your bakes. This was our favourite, the Almond Joy Cheesecake. Way back in episode one, we made some Yorkshire puddings and you sent in loads of photos of the ones you'd made at home. And we've chosen Nicola Grants to show you today. She even used the silicone moulds and they look absolutely gorgeous. For Valentine's Day, we made some heart-shaped vanilla shortbread biscuits. And Faye and her young daughter Grace have sent us a picture of what they've made. I really like the different shapes that they've used, so thank you for sending in your photo. Thanks for sending in all your photos and please keep sending them, we love to see them. And I suppose we better answer a question now. First question, Maisie Wheeler asks, can I freeze my cakes? The short answer to that question is, yes you can freeze your cakes, but there are a couple of things to consider. Yeah, if you're going to ice your cake, then don't put the icing on when you freeze it. So freeze your sponge, um, fruit or normal sponge and then defrost it when you're ready to decorate and then you can put your icing on. And just be aware, if you're using any ingredients that have already been frozen and then defrosted, you can't freeze your cake. Next question, Angela Dixon asks, do you have an emergency cake recipe to cater for unexpected guests? Yes we do, we've got a very easy orange cake and it's so simple that you should have all the ingredients for it in your store cupboards. So that's what we're going to make for you today. So this is our super easy orange cake. It's so easy that all you have to do is get these ingredients together and literally just throw them in a bowl. Mix it in the oven, done. So I've measured all my ingredients out and the first thing I'm going to do is start by putting the ingredients into the bowl. Starting with the butter, but it really doesn't matter what order you put these ingredients in. And I'm going to add my flour. Caster sugar and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. I'm going to beat the eggs before I add them to the rest of the ingredients. Once they're lightly beaten, I'm just going to put that in the bowl. And then I'm going to prepare my orange by grating the rind and then squeezing the juice. I love this grater. It's got a little drawer in it where your cheese or your, your orange peel falls into it. And then it's really easy just to scrape it into the bowl. Okay, once we've added our orange peel, I'm going to cut the orange in half and squeeze out the juice. So once you've squeezed your orange, you just add the juice to your ingredients and then you're ready to mix it. You probably need to mix that for around about two minutes until your mixture is really nice and smooth and everything's blended together. And then the next thing you need to do is get your prepared baking tin. Now you need a quite a deep eight inch round tin and I prepared mine by putting a circle of um, baking parchment in the bottom 
and then some baking parchment around the sides and that'll stop your cake from sticking to the tin. And then the next thing you do is just add your batter to the tin. So once the batter's in, I'm just going to give the pan a little knock and that just settles it all down. And I'm then going to place it in the oven for 30 minutes. And while that's baking, it's time for an ad break. Brilliant Baking Magazine is a worldwide digital magazine. It's full of practical tips, recipes, and advice on how to make money from your baking. Plus, every issue features an interview with a top international baker. Join the Brilliant Baking community on Twitter and Facebook and chat with other like-minded bakers. Brilliant Baking Magazine is available on subscription through iTunes and Google Play now. Okay, so the cake's done. And we can tell it's done because it's nice and golden on the top. And when you press it gently, it springs back. And just to make doubly sure, place the skewer into the cake and if it comes out clean, it's done. Okay, so next, what we want to do is let the cake cool down for a couple of minutes while it's in the tin. And in the meantime, make some icing. And this is a really simple icing. I've got 100 grams of icing sugar, and then I'm gonna squeeze another orange, and I'm gonna use the juice from that orange to make the icing. And then I'm going to add the rest of my juice. And just give that a mix and then just keep mixing until you've got no more lumps left and you've got a nice smooth icing. So a good tip is just to add your juice a little bit of a, at a time until you get the icing to be a nice thick consistency. If you find that your icing is too runny then you can easily add some more icing sugar to thicken it up and it will also thicken up slightly while you're waiting for your cake to go completely cold. So once your cake's nicely cold, it's time to add your icing. Now, there isn't really any art to this. I'm simply gonna pour it over the cake. Might need a little bit of help from this spatula. And the idea is it's gonna drizzle down the side of the cake. Now, if you wanted to, you could then add some um, orange peel shavings on the top to make it look really, really nice. So there you have it. If you ever have any unexpected guests turn up at your house, you can make this cake quickly and easily and I guarantee they'll all be impressed. And that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed the show. Please get in touch. We love to hear from you. Contact us through Facebook, Twitter or email us at the usual address. All of the links are in the notes below. And don't forget to send us your questions and any photos of what you've been baking. You can find all of our episodes on our Brilliant Baking YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe and share. So until next time, here's to your Brilliant Baking! <laughs>